The global food system accounts for 34% of greenhouse gas emissions. At the same time, agriculture is the most affected sector by climate change. Climate change is affecting crop yields and is making small farmers more vulnerable. So it is not a sector that can be ignored when talking about climate change. $350 billion of investments are required annually to transform the food and agriculture sector to become greener and more resilient. So far, about 30% of our agribusiness projects have had climate finance components. We plan to increase this proportion to 50% by 2025 and 75% by 2030. Many climate-related investments are not immediately obvious from a commercial perspective. Private sector clients need to be nudged into making these investments. For example, we are going to use blended finance to help the coffee company in Papua New Guinea invest in rooftop solar systems. The second challenge is that many clients do not understand their carbon footprint and the climate risks in their business and in their supply chain. We have seen some clients starting a carbon inventory or a climate risk vulnerability assessment, but this is still new. And ADB will need to help many clients, for example, by providing project preparation technical assistance. The third challenge is the fragmentation of the supply chain. Smallholder farmers dominate agriculture in Asia and the Pacific. They are 420 million small farmers with an average land holding of half a hectare. It means that farmers are extremely vulnerable to climate risks and other shocks like the COVID-19 pandemic. It also means that those farmers are extremely hard to reach, even for governments. And this is where agribusiness investment, combined with technical assistance, is a very powerful tool to help those farmers become greener and more resilient. The most effective way to increase the sustainability and the resilience of the food system is really to consider farmers as businesses and make investment in both their physical capital and their human capital.